where are you at physically? Where do you put yourself? Uh, I'm right on schedule. I mean, where I wanted to be, uh, a little bit ahead, so uh, that's always good. But I'm just trying to take it day by day and just uh, focus on getting back to 100%. Where is, is that what is right on schedule for you? I'm going to be participating in training camp. Is it? I'm going to be ready for the season. Like, how do you view that? I mean, uh, my goal is to be ready for the season. So. Uh, whatever that takes is what I'm going to try to do, but um, I'm also not going to rush it. Uh, you know, we get to that time and I'm not feeling right, then that's just what it's going to be. But uh, that is my goal, and uh, I'm just taking it day by day, like I said, and uh, try to best be the best I could be that day. What does it mean to you that they brought you back? They didn't have to. Yeah, uh, it means a lot, man. Um, you know, I mean, this, this organization has been really good to me and uh, throughout my playing career and uh, some of the stuff that's happened. Um, over the years, but uh, you know I'm, I'm grateful and thankful, and uh, you know I try to give this organization everything I got just for uh, those reasons. So you've been around, around Daniel, um, um, do you think the contract that they running is any chance of changing the role or putting more pressure on him? No, nah, if you know anything about Daniel, uh, I mean that guy's the hardest worker, uh, no matter what the situation is. So. Um, you know, I expect him to have the mentality of, uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna show everybody why I deserve this money, and um, and uh, I mean he's he's always approached the game and uh, practice day to day work um, with the right mindset. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing him out there balling. Do, do players notice when a guy comes in after a big contract? No, Jeff, you know they know it's a guy. I mean, you know, just like um, you got that money swag. You know, when somebody hit the lotto, they a little <laughs> different. So. I mean, it's the same thing. <laughs> so, so does Daniel have money swag? Nah, he's, he he gonna stay the same. Like I just told you, yeah. he's gonna stay the same. Some people got that money swag. How about Dexter? Does he have some money swag? Dexter got a little money swag. <laughs> he got a little money swag. Okay. So how do you look at, at what you're now surrounded by, particularly on offense, talent-wise, especially maybe in comparison to you know the last few years? It just seems like you know, there's receivers on top of receivers on yeah. these routes. Yeah, it's probably the biggest receiver group I've been a part of since I've been here. Uh, but that's what we wanted to bring in. We wanted to bring in competition, and um, some guys run from competition, some people don't. And uh, we're going to definitely see what we have because we have a lot of guys that uh, can play some good ball. So um, I love the fact that we add more playmakers. Uh, it's not just on one person um, to make all the plays. You know, we got a lot of guys that can do it. How strange is it? Was it? Is it? Was it not having 26 out here today? Uh, I mean, obviously he's missed, uh, but you know, this is a. The unfortunate part of the game where, um, you know, the business side gets into it a little bit. And, um, I mean, we're all just trying to focus on what we can do to make the team better. Uh, Saquon, we know what he can do. Um, and, uh, you know, we want him back as soon as possible. Arsenal's have any good advice? Uh, yeah, I mean, he left us with a good message after practice today. And uh, it's just staying within, within the group. So, um, you know, loved having him around here. He's, uh, you know, full of wisdom. So, Loved having him here and uh, listening to him speak a little bit. You've, you've been with Saquon since he got here. Can you even envision him somewhere else, or how hard would that be? I mean, do you just expect him to be here it's just a matter of time? Yeah, I mean, uh, like I said, that's the unfortunate part of the business, and uh, you just kind of let it, got to let it play its course. Um, you know, I I can't visualize him in another jersey. Uh, that's like that's my best friend, so. Uh, obviously, I want him here, um, but you know you got to figure out stuff that's uh, that's right for you, right for your family, and uh, I understand that part too. Been been doing this a while, so I've seen a lot of situations like that. When you think about the trip you all took to Arizona recently with Daniel and a bunch of their receivers, what stands out as the most memorable moment or a conversation where you learned about your teammates? Uh, in Arizona, you know that's uh, that that period of time is really for the camaraderie piece and just getting to new, know the new guys. Um, you know, Darren, one of the new guys, so he came out there just trying to uh, get a feel for who he is as a person, more than it is about work, because obviously nobody knows the plays at that time. Um, yeah, you're getting work in, but it's more about the camaraderie piece and some of the new receivers that we added, just uh, getting to know those guys. Uh, more you get to know one of your teammates, it's uh, easier to give it everything you got for them. So uh, that's a big piece of that, that trip. What did you learn about Darren when you were out there? Uh, just a very humble guy, man. He and, and he works extremely hard. I mean, he was out there every day a little bit earlier than everybody. Um, you can tell he's uh, been playing ball for a while and uh, knows how to approach um, the day. So uh, it's somebody that all the young guys can learn from and um, stuff that I can pick pieces from too, all the older guys as well. I mean, he's 
top of this position. So uh, love to have those type of guys around.